Chris Whitty has refused to back the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine after the firm vowed to run a new trial after an accidental dose was found to be 90% effective. The government's chief medical advisor dodged giving the AstraZeneca jab his support during Thursday evening's press conference amid controversy with data from its late-stage trial. The country's top doctor said judgment of the vaccine's efficacy and safety should left in the hands of Britain's drug watchdog. It comes as Matt Hancock today asked the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA for emergency approval to use the vaccine in the U. AstraZeneca is set to run another global trial to assess its vaccine, according to Chief Executive Pascal. He said, now that we've found what looks like a better efficacy we have to validate this, so we need to do an addition. On Monday, it was widely reported that the vaccine from AstraZeneca and Oxford University was highly effective in its advanced but questions were later raised over how three different efficacy levels were reported. There was an overall effectiveness of 70%, but there was also a lower rate of 62% and another higher one at 90%. It emerged that different doses of the vaccine were mistakenly used in the trial as some volunteers were given doses at half the planned strength. However, the wrong dose turned out to be the winner with 90% efficacy. It also emerged that the better result was based on a group of about 2,700 people and none of them were aged of. Instead of adding this trial to the ongoing race to find a vaccine, the pharmaceutical giant is looking to launch a fresh study to take a closer look at how the lower dosage performed better than the higher. It is important for pharmaceutical companies to find out if their vaccines can work on those aged over 55 as they have higher death rates. New trial yesterday, Mr. Witte said, the simple answer to this is there is always scientific debate about virtually everything. The key thing from our point of view is to leave this in the hands of the regulator, the excellent MHR. They will make an assessment with lots of data that is not currently in the public domain on efficacy and on safety and we will see the papers published in peer-reviewed journals, which will allow us to make a decision about what needs to. We need to allow that process to go forward. I think it's always a mistake to make judgment early before we have enough. It comes as 99% of England will be plunged into the harshest tiers 2 and 3 next week. It was revealed just 700,000 people, or 1.27% of the population, will escape strict rules on socializing and going to the pub when the lockdown ends next. Just the Isle of Wight, Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly are in the lowest tier 1, and will face very few restrictions. Some 32 million people in England, just over 56% of the population, will be in Tier 2, including Liverpool and London. And nearly 42%, 23 million people, will be in the top Tier 3, featuring large swathes of the Northeast, Northwest, parts of the Midlands, and